There are uh, huge problems that need to be addressed, and people have to start talking about this issue to understand the seriousness of it. It is thought that as many as 36% of human trafficking victims are male, but there's only one spot in the country that helps them recover, and it's actually right here in Texas. In-depth reporter Alicia Nespreto is here tonight. Alicia, for a lot of men, probably a difficult conversation to have. Yeah, Todd, there's always been a stigma around males being abused in any way, which makes it really hard for victims to come forward and seek help. Bob's House of Hope in Denton offers a safe space for boys and young men, giving them a chance to recover, grow, and have a life again. Now, we do want to caution people at home. This story does have accounts of assault and abuse, which some may find disturbing. I tell everybody I'm one of the lucky ones. Uh, I'm a survivor. The response Bob Williams received when he was first sexually assaulted as a teenager was pretty common for boys his age. My father was retired in military, and he said to me, you know, after when he picked me up from the hospital, I spent a week in the hospital because I was beaten to a pulp. Um, you just want to man up and we're going to talk about this again. And, you know, I couldn't process it. And so I turned to drugs and alcohol and struggled for about 12 years. Now more than 30 years sober, he's helping others just like him. When I first found out that there was a problem with boys um, and that there wasn't any place for them to go, I said, you know, we can change that. We can fix that. Bob's House of Hope helps young men who are survivors of human trafficking. We are the experts in this space because nobody else has done this before. And we're creating all the things that are needed for their recovery because nobody has tackled this issue before. The facility is the only one in the country aimed at helping male survivors, despite them making up an estimated 36% of human trafficking victims. It's extremely underreported. So we believe that up to, up to or over 50% of human trafficking victims are boys, and nobody's talking about it. This is an overlooked population. This is a group of young people who have never gotten the help that they needed. They've been turned away time and time again, and not only have they been abused, therefore, by the perpetrators, but also by the system around them that's supposed to be protecting them. Dickinson says stigma is the biggest reason these conversations are kept in private. There's a pervasive belief that it doesn't happen to boys or that boys can get away or that, you know, people just don't do that with, with young men. But that's, one, simply not the facts. That's simply not true. Um, and two, it's the, it's the culture around it where these young men don't want to come forward and one can hardly blame them. Bob's House of Hope offers a safe space for survivors to live and recover. The philosophy behind treatment at Bob's House of Hope is about going beyond the word treatment. It's actually about meeting them where they're at, looking them in the eyes and making sure they feel heard and understood right out of the gate. The top priority is to make their residents feel safe. They also help with drug and alcohol recovery, finishing school, finding jobs, and preparing them to return to society. Well, it's the greatest thing I've ever done, all right, to be able to help as many people. Williams calls himself one of the lucky ones to find success after trauma and says it was important to him to help others do the same. I had a stroke in 2007, and I thought whatever time I have left, I want to do something really good. He now serves as a real life example of the strength that can come from trauma, proving it does not have to hold you back from living a fulfilling life. They hear his story and they hear that they're not alone. Bob's story and facility have helped countless boys and young men recover, many telling me he served as an inspiration and a role model throughout their journey. Join me again on Thursday at 6 p.m. to hear from one of those survivors who says his dream is now to become a counselor and return to Bob's House of Hope. In the studio, Alicia Nespardo, 25 News. All right, Alicia. Now, there are some signs you can look out for. Those include someone not having control over their own money, young people spending a lot of time with older men, unexplained cuts and bruises, and tattoos of ownership. You can contact the Human Trafficking Hotline at that number right there, one 373 7888